Welcome back to a new episode of LinuxMoster.net. My name is Stefan from OpenSchoolSolutions.org and today we are going to add users, so students and teachers. And before we do that, we are logging into our dashboard, to our web UI here. I've done that. And if you scroll down here on the side, we have global settings and school settings. Okay, let's check global settings first. Here in global settings, we can manage the language, uh, session time and certificate for our web UI. So if you have your own certificate, uh, maybe a wildcard certificate or a specific for your, um, you want to have your own for this uh, interface, you can add it here. Okay, and you can also change the language. Good, if you've done that, save and restart the web UI so the changes are applied. Next, school settings is much more important. So here we have our school name that we entered. You can change it here. And next section here is email domain. So here you can enter the email domain of your students or teachers. For example, right now our domain is ad.openschoolsolutions.org. So every user get email assigned like username at ad.openschoolsolutions.org. So if your um, domain is different, like um, your students get like an email like students.openschoolsolutions.org, you can enter it here. Or if your teachers get a, have their main domain on openschoolsolutions.org. Okay, so here's a place to change that. So you can enter your school domain here, depending how you manage your mail, your mails, your emails for your users. We have an external mail server, so we don't use the one from the Linux project. And depending how it's configured, you can enter your mail domains here. Same for groups. You can enter them here, but right now we leave it empty. Print server. Default is a server. If you have a, another print server, you can set the value here. For example, if your print server looks something like this, print.openschoolsolutions.org, we can enter it here. Good. Good. Next thing is we have to save and check. Okay. And now it's safe. Cancel. Next thing to do is we go to a list import. Here we have settings um, for our users. In general, there are three big groups of users in Linux Mozilla.net. Right now it's students, teachers, and extra students. Extra students are maybe students or uh, other persons that use maybe school computers but not enrolled in the school, like uh, external courses or whatever. You have in your school. So the first thing we can check here is if you want to reverse uh, surname and first name in the username. So default is it takes a six letters of the last name plus second of two of the first name and this is the username. For teachers we can set our own um, usernames that's why it's zero but you can set the numbers here if you want. You can also set the default uh, password length and if you want to have a random password. So we can leave it here. So tolerance and removal is in days is when your um, students are dismissed from school, they're tolerated for 30 days and then the accounts are removed after 60 days. And encoding is also very important. We have these three files where all the students and teachers are managed. List encoding is set to auto, you should leave it like this. And um, if it detects UTF-8, it's, yeah, this is what, sh what you should have. So we can click on save here. Um, next is quota, is the storage space you can assign to your students, teachers, and school administrators. So it's default in uh, megabyte. So like currently it's set to a gigabyte and yeah to be right for students, for our teachers. Okay, 
mail quarter if you use the mail server. Good, we can leave it. Okay, so here we have the printing data that's print on the sheet for the passwords. So you can uh, add additional um, domains like for printing or if you use Moodle in your school or if you have like um, IT address, IT at open school solutions org if you want to have your admin email address on it okay save next is we can go and add users so here we have the section user management and you see we have students teachers school admins global admins and list management first if we want to add users we need to go to list management and right now we don't have any students so there are several ways to add a student. Okay, let's go and just click here, add student. So we can first select the class, the grade it's in, like K3, our student, like Smith, oops, and Joe, and the birthday, it's the 15th of, Mar uh, of May, 2013. So the format of the date is like day, month, and year. So we need another student. Uh, maybe K6. We have uh, pound, max pound. And his birthday is like you know, 13th of March 2010. Good. So we have these two students and now we have different options. We can just save. So now they are saved in the students file, but not uh, added to the, to the system yet. So we need to click save and check. And now it's running some checks and you can see there are two users that can be added and we just click on apply. And now it's running a script to add the users to the AD. Okay, changes applied. This is uh, done now. And we have two students. So this is one way to add your students. And the same applies for teachers here. Here we can add a teacher account. Like Johnson, Jeffrey. And his birthday is like the 31st of December. Uh, 19 okay and here we can specify the login so you can set the username for example the first letter of the first name plus the last name so G Johnson and we go again on save and check now you can see there's a new user to edit a teacher apply and we're going to add this new teacher account. Okay, done. Let's close this. Okay, so same applies for extra students. Uh, for extra students, we have the option to set a class, last and first and birthday, and also login. So for teachers, there is no class, but login. And for students, we have classes, but uh, login is automatically created for them. Good, so this is one option to use here and at the one by one, but this takes a lot of time, especially if you have a lot of students and teachers. One other way to do is to edit the CSV because all the data um, is managed there. So we can click that button and you see we have our CSV file with the class, the last name, first name and the date of birth. So this is the structure you have your data. You must have your data. So if you have your student information system, you can export your data in this way, like great, last name, first name and uh, birthday. And you can just uh, copy it here and then save and done. Okay, you can also like drag and drop your your CSV file here to import. Okay, let's add a new student here. K4, last name Schmidt, and first name Karis. And she was born on, just choose a date. And we can now save this. Now we have the data here. 
If we go over save and check again, we can add a new user apply. Okay, good. So other way is you just upload here your CSV file, but then it will replace all the current uh, users in the in the in the database. Okay, so but when you have all your students in one file, no problem, you can do it. Okay. So now when we go to students here, we will see all of our students. Their username, the login name, the grade they are in, uh, first name, last name, and we can get do some settings here. So first we can set, show their initial password. So every user get a random initial password. And here you see uh, the password and also the status if it's still set or not, or if they change the password. Okay, so what we can do is if we want like change the password uh, for all of them, we can select all the students and then here we can set a custom password or we can set a random password or we can reset the initial password. So different ways, but we can set a new custom password for all these users. And now we're going to enter the password. Let's choose our default one, Musta. Okay accept and now all the passwords are changed for these students so if i go here and show initial password it's set to musa now okay good so if you teach in a class you can reset the password here just restore the initial password or set a new random or a custom one okay user settings there is um, just some user information we can see we can see uh, to which tools belongs to, which groups they are in. Same for teachers. So teachers can be managed by the global administrators, global admins. So we see the login, we see the name, and we can show the initial password. And this is the password they can use to log in. So same for teachers. And then we have school admins. School admins are there to like install software on computers. They have admin rights to do this so with the uh, program admin and global admins are the admins that manage the whole system like we are now global admin and we can manage teachers and students. This is all you need to know to add users and like teachers and students to your Linux Muster server. Best way is go to list management edit CSV or upload your CSV file to import them all at once. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos about open source software that you can use in your school.